Following Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's insistence that the International Atomic Energy Agency needs to investigate new and secret atomic sites in Iran, IAEA head Yukia Amano has fired back, saying the agency doesn't take evidence at face value. Netanyahu first made his claims last week at the United Nations General Assembly and has since reiterated that the UN must inspect the atomic warehouses immediately, quote, before the Iranians finish clearing it out. But in a statement in response to Netanyahu's accusations, Amano said, quote, the agency sends inspectors to sites and locations only when needed. The agency uses all safeguards relevant to information available to it, but it does not take any information at face value. All information obtained, including from third parties, is subject to rigorous review and assessed together with other available information to arrive at an independent assessment based on the agency's own expertise, end quote. But Netanyahu isn't satisfied, releasing a statement of his own from the prime minister's office, suggesting that if inspectors with Geiger counters were sent immediately, the prime minister's words will be proven true. Meanwhile, as the UN and Israel go back and forth on these latest accusations, the International Court of Justice in The Hague has just ruled that the United States must lift the sanctions on humanitarian aid reimposed on the Iranian regime following the U.S.'s pullout from the JCPOA nuclear agreement. The court unanimously ruled that the United States must, quote, remove by means of its choosing any impediments arising from the measures announced on May 8th to the free exportation to Iran of medicines, medical devices, food, and agricultural commodities, end quote, including even airplane parts. Tehran first raised the issue of U.S. sanctions to the International Court of Justice in July, citing a 1955 treaty, and in accordance with the ruling, the court will now hear Iran's case against the U.S. in full, during which time the sanctions on Iran are to be suspended. The ICJ rules on any issues between member states of the United Nations, and its decisions are final and binding. That being said, there is no mechanism or punitive measures in place to enforce these rulings.